Hello. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Oh, welcome to the Unofficial Expert with Sydney and Marie. Woo. Wow. Feeling great. Are you? Yes. Why? I felt like a little technician over here. Oh, okay. Well, they don't care about the backstory about that. <laughs> Tech is boring. It is so boring. And Steve Jobs is not listening to this. And okay. Neither is the dude who replaced him. <laughs> Steve's other job. I don't I don't know. Hey Marie, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Mm. I don't know why my throat decided that we're gonna go back to all day morning voice, yeah. but that's what my throat is doing now. I feel so congested. I don't feel congested. I'm just confused. Oh, okay. But like you know how sometimes if you don't use your voice for a long time, the first person you speak to gets like your full morning voice that happened to me yesterday and then it never went away. Do you hear this? It just started yesterday? Yes. I called the dentist to make an appointment and they're like, what's your name? And I was like, Marie Boston. <laughs> and she's like, I'm sorry, it's a little bit muffled. I was like, no, just that's just my throat. <laughs> I mean, you always sound like Maya Angelou to me. That's a damn lie. You always are giving me. I did not rise. Death no. poetry jam, straight spoken word, raspy voice. What happens to a raisin in the sun? Yeah. Does it wither and weather and die? <laughs> Phenomenal woman. Phenomenally. <laughs> what happens to a dream deferred? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we should go to a damn spoken word thing. And we then should, do what? I think we should just try it. Okay. Mm, write a poem okay. and then get up there. Yo, I will put you on the ground. I will live. Listen, I will Instagram live it. Listen, <laughs> this, this, I mean, I, that might not be that hard because white people, when white people do uh, poetry, it don't even be rhyming and okay. it, it, it don't be on beat. This and they guy, have a dusty dread like what? coming in the front, like a dusty dread, remember, dread bang. Remember that guy that gave us his notebook yesterday? He gave us like his poetry book and li- this is one of the poems in the book. Okay, read it. Outnumbered, outfunded, and pushed to the cliffs, we meet our true self and found our true gifts. That's the whole poem. That's great. Okay, I'm, well, let me I read. fucks with it. Okay, let me read you another one. Okay. Make a list of things that make you happy and make a list of things that you do every day. Compare the list. Adjust accordingly. That's not a poem. That's not a poem. That's not a poem. But that's one of those like mantras, like something that you say in the day. In the all morning. right, well, you know what we should do at the end of this episode? We should make a list of things that make us happy and make a list of all the things that we do every day. And then, you know, compare the list. Okay, and also we should just write a little poem. Just do a little haiku. Can we do that? Okay, you know what a haiku is? No. Okay, all right. Cause I, <laughs> I know what it is. Because <laughs> you said it. But I, I know, know, you didn't what, know it what it is. Was. It's like a certain amount of lines or a certain amount of beats or something like mm-hmm. that. Just like five or something. Yeah. Like that. So we should do something like that. So you want to go? You want to go all the way? You want me to trek all the way to Harlem or the New York Poets Cafe? <laughs> you want me to travel for forty-five minutes to tell a five-syllable play? No. I mean it, poem. I'm swear to you, in Brooklyn, they have tons of things like that. I mean, it's gentrified. You know, white people. Are yeah, but I don't want to go. Some, I don't want to do poetry with white people. Like that's not. Marie? I don't want to do poetry. You know who's listening to the podcast. I I understand, and I want them to know that I don't want to do poetry with them. (laughs) I don't. Bitch, you crazy. Um, What were you an expert in this week? This week, I was an expert at eating chicken wings. I know, it sounds very stereotypical, but I did a really good job. Well, let me tell you what happened. Don't judge me. I've never called your expertise basic, and you'll be having some real basic expertise (laughs) on this podcast. I was an expert at being a good friend. Oh. Like that, that's that's the stuff that that's, you say here. Yeah. And I've never called you basic. That's not basic. Oh, and but sometimes but it's hard eating, to be a good friend. Girl, but it's hard for me to be a good friend to you because you say basic stuff Shut like up. that. You see? You continue. see? It hurts. Continue. Continue. It hurt, don't it? Continue. Please. Um, so I had chicken, buffalo wings, like three days in a row. Uh <gasps> me too. Uh, okay, so we were experts at the same thing. <laughs> Even though we were together, Yo, this is what's Monday. Happening. Okay, so Saturday night I was walking down the street and this 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 little cool dude was like, Hey, how your night going? And I was like, it's going well. And then fast forward to us exchanging information, and then two days later he got me chicken. But I was with Sydney. Oh, he came. Remember? That's right, it was there. The, the, you, Sydney third wheeled the chicken. I third wheeled, and I actually was the one that was like, We should only have ten. He was like, I want to get my own. I was like, What? These are some big wings. Yeah, but he was he was from LA and he was like, uh, it's a lot of money for like a little bit of wings. And Sydney was like, they don't be big. And they came and 
we could barely finish yeah, all of but also I was like, nigga, you on the corporate card. Shush. Yeah, he did. He did drop his gold American Express. <laughs> you got the corporate card, dude. Like, he paid for matter. all the wings. And then he was like, after you left, because Sydney was like, I'm only going to stand and have one wing and then I'm going to go home. Six wings later, Shut up, bitch. Sydney's <laughs> still there, sucking on her fingers. <laughs> uh, his napkin was so nasty and our napkins were so clean because we were sucking our fingers in public. I feel like you're allowed to suck your fingers if like it's like they're full of salt. Us. We yeah. were in Dallas BBQ, so everybody is sucking their fingers. We were like, not, this is, and wow. he, he just kept using the barbecue wipes, and we were like, I use those at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, are these wings imported? And like, the, are they, yeah, where I was are like, they from? Are these free range? Yeah. Texas wings? I was like, these, these wings taste real Connecticut ish. Right? They taste like they, they had 401k or yeah. something. Very Cornish hen ish. And then the next day, uh, I was I was in the city with my cousin, our jobs expert, and we jumped on the train and we looked to the left and my little sister was on the train. And she was like, what y'all doing? And we were like, what y'all doing? And then Andrew was like, do you have food at the house? And I was like, Andrew, it was like midnight. I'm not you can't come to our house and eat and leave like you always do. Mm-hmm. And my sister was like, I want wings. And Andrew was like, oh, it's Tuesday. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings has half price wings every Tuesday. No way. And we were like, what time they close? Loud. Just being loud and ignorant and hungry on the Q train. And they closed at one o'clock in the morning. So we jumped off the train and went back the way we came and got this whole thing of wings. But they weren't as big as the but how much? wings. It was like twelve. Well, I think I paid twelve dollars, including tip. Did y'all all share wings? Yeah, but we also got milkshakes. Okay. The, wing, the wings came to like twelve dollars for like eighteen wings. Well, or let me like tell that. you, the wings taste better when somebody else is paying for they them. Do. Okay? They do. They do. I was when like, I have to pay for my own. Wing. I'm like, what kind of ch- is this? The white or the dark? You're like, is this pigeon? What, yeah. Pigeon wing? What is this? Well, yeah, but anything tastes better when someone else is paying for it. Mm-hmm. Like I had a bomb ass peanut butter and jelly once because somebody else paid for it. I was like, are these gluten-free peanuts? Like, these are but Marie, sometimes you don't know how free works because we went to a stand, a lemonade stand, and they were giving out lemonade, and you were like, uh, do you have, like, what kind That's of That's not... That, oh, what just happened? What? Nothing happened. I can't hear myself anymore. You can't? No. Oh. I, I, it, it was this. Oh. Uh, that's not not knowing how free works. I, you were asking questions. You don't ask no questions. I'm allowed just to just ask questions it. whether it's free or not. Oh, absolutely not. What you talk about? See, you don't know how free works. No, just I because do. somebody's giving you something doesn't mean you have to take it. Somebody can be like, yo, you free don't... herpes. And you're going to be like, no, 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 no. No. I'm going to take this herpes because it's free. This is what people would do when they would come to my job, right? I would give them a menu and this menu was just to give it to them, like right. to you to have it. Then they'll like ask for add-ons and extras, and I'm like, see, this that's is people free. who don't know how free works. This is for you. Just take whatever I'm fucking giving you. Yeah, don't. but those are people who don't know how free works. That's I don't be at your job asking for extra stuff. I'd be like, is the lady that make the sandwiches back there? Marie, what are you talking <laughs> about? You would be the man where you're like, you're like, can I get stuff that's not on the menu today? No, no, I never said that. I said the sandwiches. I said, are not hold on, on hold on. This is what, but this is how the sandwich. Thing. I was like, damn, y'all ain't got no wings. And Sydney was like. <laughs> Sydney was like, I can get you some wings. And then you came out with wings. I didn't even know y'all had that. It and wasn't then I was on the like, menu. I know, but I didn't ask you for wings. I was like, I just she want some wings. She mentioned wings after she'd been to the, to the hotel yes, so but, many times. Yeah, but I didn't go in there and say, I really want some wings from y'all back there. I just was like, oh, you guys don't have any wings. I don't want anything. And then Sydney made the wings appear. And then I was like, the next time I went, I was like, I don't want a salad. I don't want this. I just want like a regular sandwich. But I didn't ask her for it. I just was like, I don't want anything here. And then she made the sandwich appear. I wasn't in there asking for off-menu stuff like I was at In-N-Out Burger. Like, I wasn't... But the next time she came and she was like, is, is the woman back there making sandwiches? Well, yes, because I knew that y'all had the capabilities. <laughs> I know y'all had that sliced ciabatta bread back there. Anyways. <laughs> you were like, do they have any more arugula? Can I get... Like, I was a- like, yeah, I don't want uh, the romaine. Yeah. I want... Uh, yeah. You got butter lettuce? <laughs> Do they have endive? The Sydney, endive. In Sydney. I don't think it's called. It's pronounced undive. Just so oh. you know, it's on Dive. Just so. Just so you oh. know. Anyways, Sydney, what were you an expert in this week? Uh, 
more bike stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm really getting into, into the bike. I've been riding from Brooklyn to Manhattan. Mm-hmm. I've taken the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge, the Williamsburg Bridge. Beautiful. Uh, I got lights on my bike. Mm-hmm. I got a bell. Um, I'm meeting new people every day, uh, and I love it. I just love being on a bike. When you say new people, you mean new white people, new black people? No. What kind of people? First of all, the other day, I had a race war on the bridge. It was me and this black girl. We She had like a fro. She was playing her music. She got a little Jill Scott on. She pedaling or whatever. And then these white dudes pull up on the side of us. And they're like, hey, girls. And they're like, uh-huh, whatever. And then they looked like they were trying to like race us. And I was like, they're not really trying to race us right now. And then the other girl was like, oh, they ready to race? Let's go. And I was like, girl, do it for us. Do it for us because I can't. So race war means two things in that story. Yes. <laughs> because that's not a race war. <laughs> that's what happened, though. But um, So who won? I don't even know. I didn't make it to the end. They were gone. They were probably already downtown. When she I probably date one of them white dudes. Yo, but I'm getting better with just adjusting to being on a bike. Like, I'm not. I'm not trying to take cabs anymore. So people, That's beautiful. You're people message money. me on Insta story or whatever. And they're like, so are you doing bad? Like, do you need money? You, your, <laughs> uh, your Uber money ran out. What happened? It's like, <laughs> your no. Uber money. People are disrespectful. So they yeah. just say whatever to me. And I was like, it's fine. But last night mm-hmm. I was on the bike mm-hmm. and I was on there late. It was like one something I had finished seeing y'all or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but who would tell you to jump on the bike at one o'clock in the... I can't ready leave to my die bike. For real. I can't leave my bike. Listen, when a white man who who's got cargo shorts on is like, "That's a nice bike." Listen, don't leave it. He, I was gonna leave the bike when we were at the duplex. He's like, "The leather on the seat is beautiful." Yeah, he would have just taken the seat. And left exactly. The bike. Somebody told me to take the wheel off the fucking bike, and I was like, "That's not happening." Um, who's just taking wheels off a of bike? Crackheads. The- Crackheads do that. Yeah, you're right. So last night, this guy asked me how much when I was like on, I was on the corner. Was he talking bike. about the bike or your vagina? I how thought much? he was talking about the bike, but he was talking about me. <laughs> he thought I was a fucking prostitute. Cross country and I prostitute. Said, who is selling ass and then getting on a bike? That's not that don't go. Like if I'm a prostitute, I'm only taking cabs. Why would I be riding around to people's homes? Well, you that, know how there's like weed delivery, there's like food delivery, there's pussy delivery, you just do it on a bike. <laughs> that's like seamless for your vagina. Yeah, but do you know sitting on a bike is damaging the punani nani? It's going well, through. I mean, it. you know, you get like a padded bike short I think or something. I, that's what I need. I need a padded. But any listeners are out there, if anybody want to sponsor me, <laughs> if any my, padded <laughs> bike short companies are listening to this right in now, in my bike journey, please send them to a five hundred. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I was about to hit you with Marie's address. my entire address on the... You know what? Let's just get started because yes. the guest that we have today would never do that. She's oh, too she cool for that type of behavior. Very cool. Uh, she is a comedian. She she travels all over the country and kind of in, in, you, and in other countries. You're kind of international. Uh, all across North America. That's mm-hmm. what I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, she's somebody who's on our show a couple times. She's freaking hilarious. So funny. She's our chill expert. She's our cool cat expert. Give it up for Chanel Ali. Hey guys, thank you so much for having me. Chanel Ali. It's so good to be here. Yes, it is. Chanel, um, do you ride a bike? I don't, except when I go to Governor's Island because they got free bike rental. Oh, yeah, that's like the only time. That? How do they make money if the bikes are free? Like, well, it's only, it's only free tw- before tw- noon. After that's like a billion dollars. The right, people well, who are renting bikes after noon, they're 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 killing it. Well, everybody who uh, is listening to this, if y'all want to do like a little unofficial expert meetup at Governor's Island before let's noon, do let's do that. That'd be amazing. A little meetup. Chanel will be there. Absolutely, and it's Chanel, so cheap. You'll be there on time, and we'll be there Lit. three hours later. I'll be there chilling. Like they're not coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chanel, how do you get to be so damn calm? Like, even your voice is chill. Yeah, I do be chilling. Um, I think it's a lot of things. I think I got some like meditative practices that keep me real grounded. What that you mean? Know? Let's talk about that. Like, like some numb your <laughs> some numb your ringe on a, on, a, on a dober level. Some numb your ringe Yeah, like uh, you know, I listen to Reasonable Doubt every Monday. 
Oh. Reasonable Doubt Mondays. You can follow that on Twitter. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, right? And I, people people always ask me about that, but I just think like the why? Jay-Z Reasonable Doubt album is such like a hustler mentality. Like it's really? just Yeah, he just captured all of the emotions when you're going through like life changes and you're really hustling and trying to make changes and trying to find peace within yourself. So I listen to that every Monday. How do you feel Reasonable about Jay Z's albums now compared to that album? I think it's like hard to evolve as an artist, especially when you're making projects that they're really gonna judge you on. But I think he's still just as dope. I think even back then, when you listen to Reasonable Doubt, he was like saying faggot and like just you know doing so things he, that you can't you can't get away with nowadays. So but he was a young he was a young man and he was rapping. You know, that was the '90s. That was fine. You know what I mean? So I think yeah, he's he evolved. Had a, he had on a baby blue vocal jersey or North yes. UNC jersey. No, he wore Hawaiian have. shirts. Hawaiian shirts dropping in the back of <laughs> yeah. music videos. Real I'm, crazy. I'm not a Jay Z fan, so I really don't know really that word. Yeah, really, I'm like not. just in general. I just don't care about him. Word. Okay, wait, I mean, wait. I don't want. I don't want to even give you the wrong idea that I think Jay Z is like the greatest rapper of all time, <gasps> or even my favorite I don't rapper. Think that he is. But I do listen to Reasonable Doubt every single Monday. Okay. All right, Cindy, you shocked? I didn't know that you were such a Sean Carter fan. You, <gasps> you never told. You never pearls. told the Facebooks. You never, you never said told that. the Facebooks. Well, there, or the Twitters. Where there, there was a mixtape where I, you know, lost my virginity to, and uh, it was one of like what? It was a mixtape. It was a mixtape. It wasn't no slow jam. It was. Oh no, it's eh? not. It was while you were nice. having sex. <laughs> Jay Z was calling everyone in the room a fag. Yeah. Wow. Like crazy shit. It was, first of all, it was like Meek Mill featuring like Jay Z featuring like DJ Clue. It was a lot of people on that one. Has Meek Mill been around that long? Oh, no, not Meek Mill. Yeah, I was uh, say, I know. I'm like, what's girl. the other guy that was on there? Um, Fabulous. Oh, I know. You, you know Memphis Bleak? Memphis Bleak. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's similar. They got similar names. It's yeah, okay. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Bleak, Meek but Mill. I'm going to let it live. It's okay. It's, it's fine. Yo. But yeah, I, I had a one track, and, and then I would, because of that mixtape, I got into Jay Z, and I loved him after that. Dude. He's a good person to lose your virginity to. I'm just saying. Chanel, do you remember what song you uh, lost your virginity to? Uh, I'm pretty sure there wasn't music playing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> from what I recall, no. It was awkward silence and a twin bed. <laughs> from what I remember. <laughs> so the guy was obviously your age. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah, maybe like a year older than me, maybe. Wow. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> you listen to uh, Reasonable Doubt on Mondays. And then what else? How else do you like meditate? Like, how do you stay so zen? Anyways, I really like live with my headphones on mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, also breathe a lot. Yeah. You, like, when is the last time you really sat and concentrated on breathing? Like, I'm concentrating on the air going in. And now the air going out. Because wow. we don't really do that. We forget to do that shit. And your body needs you to reset air. like that. Oh, like that's how that's your like control all delete. You Absolutely. Gotta... As a bicyclist. Well, I always breathe like that. So <laughs> I didn't really feel like I learned anything from that little exercise. But wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You think you better than us? You, mm-hmm. you just um, be breathing? I mean, I always have to breathe, like, especially when you're active, like you're out in these streets, like, especially going over the Williamsburg Bridge. Yeah, I the mean, three I'm... times that you've done that in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel, you're not from New York. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Philly. Yeah. I was born in Camden, which is right outside of Philly. Okay. Um, which is not Philly. a cool place yeah. to be. You guys know Camden? I feel like Camden was like the murder capital. Oh, it murder, is. Murder capital of the. Y'all know that? Yeah, girl. I read. I mean, I don't read, but like, yeah. I know people from. Uh, wow. New people Jersey. know. Is I it? I guess I don't know why I I didn't think y'all would know that. Honestly, that was a couple years ago that they took that title, but it's it's a very dangerous place. Yeah. Murder capital of the country. It has the same murder rates as Philly, but Philly is a huge city in yeah. comparison. Like Camden is very tiny to be, you know, having so many people die. But yeah, I was born in Camden, and then uh, I lived in Philly most of my life. I did move around a lot as a kid. But uh, I claim Philly. Philly's home. Philly is home. Okay, well, what's like, you know... Like, Philly isn't a chill place, though. I feel like it's a lot going on. It's a Philly yeah, cheesesteaks. Sometimes you <laughs> be chilling all mackin, you know, playing b-ball outside of the school. And, and then, sometimes a couple guys will yeah. be up to no good. And you I know what knew I mean? we wasn't going to get through this podcast without that song. <laughs> I, knew it. I knew somebody would sing it. Do you get tired of that <laughs> as a you know, Philly person? I can tell you how many times in New York when someone brings me on stage, the DJ will play 
that song in West Philadelphia. Boy. Like, where is, as, now I got as, a riff on it. Well, where is West Philadelphia? Like, it's, is that a, even a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's West Philly, North Philly, South Philly. There is no East Philly. Because that's regular Philly. The, yeah. Well, no, that's where the river is. It's like the... <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah. Who cares about East Philly? But you know, I like from Philly. Um, I like city living. Like, I'm definitely, I like being in the city. But I do think that New York is, like, overkill in a lot of aspects. It is. It's it a lot, really it's a freaking lot. is. I just think the quality of life in Philly is much more because the dollar goes farther. It's not as big. It's not as overwhelming. Yes, but you might get shot with that long-ass dollar. I mean, you know what I mean? You might get shot in East New York. I mean, you might well, get shot. Well, that's why we don't go there. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> who goes to East? Does it, listeners. Are you from East New York? Somebody <laughs> hit get us up. out now. <laughs> Should we start a GoFundMe so you can get out of East New York? East New York is going to be like the last place to get gentrified if that ever happens. No, it's yeah. going to happen now. That's crazy. I'm just proud of myself, like, knowing where I'm talking about now. You know what I mean? Well, so, but you're in Brooklyn now. Like, how did you, yeah. like, how do you think that Philly helped in you becoming such a chill person? Like, um, do you have, like, a chill family? Do you have, like, a lot of friends who, like, smoke weed? Like, talk about that. I do have a ton of friends who smoke weed. And I think Philly, like, the Philly art scene really shaped and molded me as a young woman. Absolutely. Like, oh, that's shout shout out. shaped and molded her. Shout out yeah. to the Basquiat's in <laughs> Philly. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut um, out. I know like really <laughs> talented like painters, people who that's all they do is paint all day. Oh, and like Bob Ross. Is his name Bob Ross? Um, yeah, Bob Ross. Guy. He's so relaxing. He's a really relaxing guy. Come I think on. he's dead. Is he? I think he passed away. Why are you okay. saying that so lightly? Like, Can somebody care? Google that? that's how I cool mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> death, death is a joke. I kill him. Not, I she's kill him Haitian. She knows about death. It's, it happens. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you guys heard of um, the Stop Telling Women to Smile campaign? Yeah. Yes. My friend Tatiana started that. Oh. And she was an artist in Philly that I used to see on TV all the time. And I would be like, why is this girl? Like, I just see her out. But she's always doing this dope shit. Mm-hmm. And then I just really started surrounding myself around people like that. People who were making art and trying to make a difference in the world. And it really helped me get the courage to be like, man, I think I'm a comedian. I think I need to try this. And so I started hitting open mics in so Philly. So catcalling is what propelled you is into that, comedy? Yeah. Well, is that what we're going to do? That's what we're going to say? Things. <laughs> a lot of different things. But yeah, just watching people, you know, make a life off of their art. Yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. I, I didn't mean, think and that you was are. something I had really considered for a long yeah, time. Yeah, but you are. You're making money as a comic. Like, yeah. that's like your bread and butter basically now, yeah. right? But I think you yeah. could really do that in New York City if you're an artist. If you, there's people who have books on poems and they're making like thousands of dollars. And I'm just like, I, I read that poem. What? <laughs> who's mm-hmm. who's buying these? Who paying for this? Yeah, yeah. like you, if you're a painter, if you're a singer, this is the place to come and make money off but of it. But also art. it's expensive to live here, mm-hmm. so you might have to do something it else on the you, side. It, it forces you to hustle. Yeah. It forces you. But sometimes we need that. If mm-hmm. like it was easy to be an artist, then like nobody would be creating anything of value. You know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons I always say I feel like Philly comics have such a thick skin because Philly's not an easy city to move. It's not what, easy is, what are some comics that came out of life. Philly? Because I'm in my mind, I'm like, there the only no, there's Monroe. Monroe Derek you say Robinson. the names because people oh, listening sorry. don't know who Monroe, Monroe Martin, is. Monroe Martin, okay. yes. Uh, Derek Gaines, mm-hmm. yeah, y'all know Kevin him. Hart. Yeah, you know, I mean, but Kevin and Kevin really like put in the work in Philly for like a Why decade. Why would y'all start with Monroe and not say Kevin Hart because first? We, we're just we building were, up to yeah, it, girl. You know, Damn, you can't just you can't just drop Kevin Hart. You should have just time. said Kevin Hart is from Philly, and then they'd be like Philly, like, like Kevin Hart. They'd be like, no, calm down. Yeah, chill, 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 chill. Exactly. Damn. Children, 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 and of course, Will Smith and his mom. Um, but also, I think not having kids keeps me chill. Oh, listen, do you like? I reflect on that all the time. Like, oh, thank regularly. You, Jesus. And when I see people have not one but two kids, mm-hmm. I'm like, do, mm-hmm. are you really want to have that type of challenge? And, and it's in the summertime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody's giving up their seat. So yeah. you got two kids on the train, Yo. and you, you uh, your shoes listen, hurt. When like, I see on, women boo. struggle with that stroller to get on the bus, uh, I'm like, you doing God. worse than me. When mm-hmm. I see like newborn babies on the train Ooh, with like, that little what, sock, I'm like, what about their immune system? They don't like, care. This air can't be good for this baby. The baby got mesothelioma. Well, this is why the babies have thick skin in I New know. York City they because of the up. air and because of like they the transportation. Nobody it's, give a fuck about a baby anywhere. Like 
on a plane, yeah. on a train, in the water. It's like women and children first, babies, whatever. They babies. They the baby, they'll it. float. Just yeah. throw it, throw it down there. <laughs> throw it down. That's, yeah, but having a kid, especially when you see people with like them double wide strollers yeah. or the long stroller where the baby one baby's on top of the other baby. <laughs> and you're like, dude, you got a bunk bed stroller out in these yeah, streets? When babies? I was oh. when I was in Central Park and there there were dads on bikes and they had like the little car seat, bike seat for the baby. No. I was like, you obviously don't give a fuck don't about the baby. Damn. The baby's like the in the baby, back of you. I feel like the baby could be gone. Like somebody <laughs> could walk up behind and just take the baby out and he would just keep riding. Well, you see, I see people walking down the street all the time and like they're, I'll, I'll come down the street and there'll be a child in front of me and I'm like, who the hell, whose baby is this? Yeah. And I look around and the parents will be way ahead or like yeah. two blocks back and I'm like, y'all just letting this baby without a leash yeah. walk through these streets like... They don't care. They be I, in their phone. I do think, Chanel, you know, when you become a mom, you're going to be mad chill about it. I, I absolutely will. Yeah. I can't wait to be a mom. I mean, I could wait, but... <laughs> <laughs> so you can't wait, girl? Gonna, I really do want to be a mom at some point, but I think I'd probably be like one of those 40-year-old moms that's like, I guess I'll get started. Like, I, I feel really, like that's going to be chill. all of us, though. Yeah. I feel like I think we're so too. all going to be there. I appreciate y'all's support, yo. I, listen, I'm going to be it's an old okay. mom. I'm going to be an old... We're going to look great. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be a Halle Berry mom. I'm going to have three baby daddies and all my kids going to be a different color. Or an Erica Badu mom. Yeah. Is, you know I that am... she's pregnant right now. She's telling people that she's Erica not Badu pregnant. But pregnant? No, no, no. Erica Badu got ha- three baby daddies. Holly Berry. Holly and Berry she is, also has pregnant. is pregnant and she's yeah. telling everybody that she isn't. Yeah, Even though Hallie... she's had, there's pictures of her looking pregnant as yeah, F. She's and she's like, like nah. no, I'm just bloated. Yeah. She got a I black have... She got a black baby daddy? Or is it two white dudes? It's two white dudes. It's two white dudes. I, I want to be like know. Kimora Lee Simmons. I yeah, be she got it. She got all like Russell Cold Stone of babies. Yeah. All her baby daddies on a yacht with her chilling, like mm-hmm. taking pictures. I'm like, yes, that, girl. That they boom, all chill. That boom gosh must be lovely. No, yeah. that's like that's rich. That's rich mm-hmm. uh, baby daddies though. Mm-hmm. They're like yeah, they don't they're give all because all her baby daddies are billionaires. Yeah, yeah. Except for you know, give us us free. Anyway, so but he you know great guy. He looks fantastic. Um, so I do. I feel like you're gonna be one of these moms that like. Mm-hmm. Teaches your kid how to roll a blunt. I mean, whenever. Oh, damn, really? You think I'm just. <laughs> I'd rather you smoke does. here at the home. I mean, yeah. I love those moms. <laughs> or at least I had a couple of friends in high school who moms were it. just like that. They're like, oh, if you're going to drink, we might as well just drink together. Dominican yeah. moms, like, they're mad extra, but chill at the same time. Because yeah. I'm like, drinking. Bitch, you fucking in the house? Nah, you, your mother. <laughs> She, you went to your mom's yo, show and got some condoms. Your wow. mother is cooking uh, perineal in the kitchen and you <laughs> fucking? Wow. <laughs> so when y'all done fucking, the pig is going to be finished? Uh, wow. You, man. The door. Your mother the door. is mad chill. And then she knows don't come over here. <laughs> yo. Oh my God. Chanel, do you have a cool mom? Um, oh, me cool and my mom are not very close, honestly. Um, I was a foster kid, mm-hmm. so I got taken away from her when I was two. But she has been in my life intermittently, I would say. But like, is she like a level-headed person, or is she somebody who mm-hmm. kind of like flies off the handle regularly? Oh, she's uh, level-headed, but she's got a lot of mental issues. Oh, so oh like, okay. You know, like she was one of them ladies in the '80s that was wilding. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. So she's very dilapidated from all those experiences. Wait, so, say that word again. Dilapidated. 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 Yeah. dilapidated. Write that down. Don't, don't, don't. I, Add that to like, <laughs> I feel like I can't. Like in my adulthood, I don't ever remember having like real meaningful conversations with her. Mm. It always seems like I would be talking to her and she would just kind of disappear. I would be like, "All right, well, I guess we're done talking." But the right crazy now. thing is, is that I don't get that vibe from you. Like, I don't I feel like you don't feel like somebody who doesn't have like a mother in their life or oh, presence. Right. Like you, you, f- yeah. you feel very. I feel very family oriented when I'm around you. And yet uh-huh. here's Sydney who uh, calls her mother by her first name. <laughs> hey, Ramona, how you doing? Or she'd be like Ramona and I, or That's actually hilarious. Sydney would be like me and Ramona. Uh, and <laughs> I'm like, what? From who the hell? People in conversations will be like, who the hell is Ramona? And she'll be like, my mom. Yeah, you know, Ramona. And I'm like, what? Well, mom is one person and mm-hmm. Ramona is another. Ramona Who's is mom. De- Ramona is detached. Mom is the one that's like reaching out, like, hey, how are Check you doing? You. Ramona is like, um, can you go to the store and get me two packs of cigarettes yeah. and then like go downtown and run errands and then come back and then you have no food. I didn't no know your mom smoked cigarettes. She doesn't smoke anymore, but she used to smoke Larks and she would have like me, my niece, we would go get her cigarettes all the time. I'm like, what the hell is a Lark? Exactly. Exactly. That's some Detroit shit. This, I don't <laughs> fucking know, but I've no. Heard of that. The larks would be stacked just for her at the corner store. Nobody else Ready. smoked them, just her. 
It was the weirdest thing. Are but those the long, elegant cigarettes? No, they was they. I was like, they're like is, black and mild. This for is women? a Newport. This is this is cool. <laughs> this is a cool, but called Lark. Well, Chanel's too cool to smoke cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you smoke, sir? No, no, okay. no. But do I you do, do? You just do weed. I just do it. weed mostly. I and drink, edibles. I drink. Yeah. Edibles, How much weed yeah. do you think you smoke in like a day? Uh, probably a whole blunt a day. A almost, whole blunt, almost every day. Some days I'm just too busy. I just don't have time to smoke. But so you using Dutch Masters? You if I no, I like the zigzag wraps. I like those. Oh, you've been hanging out with too many white men. What the fuck? I don't even know what a zigzag <laughs> wrap is. Yeah, the white, me the white what are thing? those? The white papers? No, they're cigar papers. Are just like you don't have to break them. It's just a wrap. You oh. open it. It's just the wrap. Can you, you show like, us? Yeah, can you? Yeah, did you bring absolutely. weed first? Yeah, show us. Y'all not even ready. You're not even that chill. Because chill, chill people will have weed on nah, them. Chill people don't be walking around with weed on them. Chill all people the time smoke weed in front of the cops. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. it's decriminalized here in New York. You should have the weed yes. here in the studio with us. I don't really trust it. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, Chanel, since you're chill, are you in a relationship? Like, are you yeah. chill when you're with? The opposite oh, yeah. sex or I am really chill And I think I was going to talk about that also I feel like I'm super observant mm-hmm. About Especially like The comedy business mm-hmm. And so I always peep Like people who are Putting their relationship On blast You Ooh. know And I'd be like Oh girl. girl That did not work out for you <laughs> Oh my oh, god no. so There's I, a particular comic In uh-huh. my mind right mm-hmm. now Who had her entire Relationship yeah. I'd be chilling I'd be chilling Because I really feel like When you When you got a good amount Of happiness You gotta keep it to yourself A certain amount Especially Because the haters be hating And comedy is a big high school You can't lie Comedy is big Listen, high school Listen everybody in New York Has dated everybody In mm-hmm. New York Except me Because I'm better than everybody But um, And Sydney hasn't dated any comics either because no. she she don't have time for that. No. Yeah, the way she just shook her head. Just she was like, like no, absolutely, absolutely not. Like no, her eyes got no, real big and uh-uh. she looks terrified. No, no, no. Together. I mean, we, I can't be doing bad and you doing bad. It's, it, it can only be one <laughs> person struggling in the relationship. I can't a comedian because I feel like I already know you ain't got no money. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like, you gotta be But it's hard well because some of these comedians are like, like some of the guy comedians are like funny no, some of them. Some I'm of them saying. I'm still smart. saying no. I don't care how funny you I'm are. Saying, you you ain't got no I'm money. Who paying for these wings, get, Chanel? I'm saying sometimes you could get caught up in this funny. You know smart how guys. like I've gotten to the point where like I'm just numb to like funny. What? Really? Like not, funny don't get me moist oh ever. God. Like Damn. I actually just like you funny. just being quiet in a corner and just yeah. leaving me alone. That's that hot. that extent, gets yeah. me really That's hot, hot and wet. <laughs> Hot and wet. Not- <laughs> <laughs> That's like a one twelve song right now, Chanel. But like, yeah, because you didn't like. I didn't know that you were in a, in a relationship Me neither. until I, how long have yeah. y'all been together? Um, see how cool she is. You don't even know it? how long they've been together. It? June, like a year. And see, I okay, and I that. follow <laughs> Chanel on Snapchat, and I would just see a nigga's hand <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, at the dinner table right. or like and on excursions, what and I'm like, who this nigga? And so what now I was, <laughs> I'm looking. No, I, I agree with you on right? that. I never posted my Yo, ex-boyfriend's face. I'm so face. observant, and I always peep like when people make decisions that negatively impact their happiness. Mm. I always peep that, and I don't never judge them because we always make mistakes stakes in life, yes. mm-hmm. but I've never seen like celebrities sit anywhere and talk about their relationship, especially like point at his picture and be like, this is who I'm with, yeah. and then their relationship got better because yeah. they invited mm. all these people into it. I've never seen that. So I think even in my relationship now, he would like to be way more like, let's just be making out on the ground. Oh, like, let's no. just do it. Really? Oh, and I'm always he like, those? he lives for you, girl. <laughs> he I'm does, telling he does you, he you. Guys, is obsessed. Guys. He, I, we can tell. Guys. I can tell when a guy Listen. is super into somebody and he he's like, that's my queen, like he's whatever like, you want. She's my, my queen. queen. Guys. So if you text him right now and be like, "Oh, babe, I don't feel well. Like I, I need soup." Like he would he'll go, be he'll make, he he'll go get the ingredients to, to make the soup. Listen, he'll they be like, say that. he'll Let's be, sh- he'll be like, share your location with me. I'll be there in twelve <laughs> minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he <laughs> would find a way, yeah. and I just think it's beautiful. And also, he knows that you're talented and you're doing your thing. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But let's talk about y'all in the bedroom. Oh <laughs> wow, real quick, real quick. Yeah, because quick. because are you this quick. cool in the bedroom? Oh no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I feel like you would keep your cardigan on. In the, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I feel like you. Nah. I feel like you have your bra That's and your cardigan you on. Yeah. Okay. I can't say that. I, yeah. I can't say. <laughs> I can't say I always have time to take off. Okay, everything. I feel I like that's, that's how hot it be. Uh-huh. Now I feel like you but would be working on a bit while you from the back. You're like, yep, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah. 
<laughs> the, huh? You doing I'm setups focused. and punchlines no, while you getting your punchlines? I feel like I feel like it'd be real quiet. Like he'd be going real crazy, and oh you'd be gosh. like rolling up your zigzag papers Yo, or whatever. He's gonna think this is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he gonna like, listen to it and be like, Nah, you don't know Chanel <laughs> Ali is a freak. <laughs> Y'all, you are a nice girl. They're gonna say, Yo, gonna say Chanel. That. I, I do think you. that you're nice. You have very, I feel very like you nice. Be, I'm nice. You're yeah. the type of person I take home to my mom, I and I don't have, even see my mom. But, I but I if have. I did, I would take you to see her. Oh, I want to see her. No, you don't want to Your mom, though. Your mom, like self confidence, right? Right. I have a lot of self confidence. I'm real confident in like what I know and you know my body. I'm like she got sex skills. She be. But in general, in life, I think you you could tell that like when I get on stage. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, I you're so I'm fun. At. Yes, but... And, and you're the, chill. I yeah. don't know. I feel like, you know, sometimes... I, but see, I'm telling you, I think I get way more attention because people are like, I don't know about her. Maybe. They're like, I'm not sure. I can't really tell. She might be. She I don't might know. be. I, just, I think you're getting a lot of attention, too, because you're like, le, like your jokes are super well thought mm-hmm. out. And like in the, I don't know, the year and a half or the two years that I've known you, like all of your stuff is just grown to be like so like perfected. You oh, know what I mean? Like you you're guys. not out here just throwing yeah. away raggedy mess off no, the stage. No, you're not. And the joke that's so great that I always remember is one about like, people and dating how they're like oh Chanel you know if things don't work out you're gonna make fun of me like Mm -hmm. and then you're like uh why do you think like whack sex is funny to me it's like it's not but (laughs) But, but haven't you heard that though I'm sure you guys have been dating someone they'd be like huh don't write a joke about me you never heard that no people say that to Marie but then they watch her YouTube and they know that she talks about everything everybody But if people don't, it doesn't, I don't have to be dating somebody for them to say that to me. They already oh, know. Strangers well, come to her all the time. They already know I'm going to say something crazy. that have been scared. Like, you're not going to tell anybody about this, right? Like, <laughs> I know I'm a mess. But. My friends, <laughs> sometimes my friends don't invite me out because they're like, Cindy going to make a fucking bit about this. Nah, we not letting it. Like, there's some things that, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll see them on Snapchat while and now, and I'm like, yo, well, how come was I, I wasn't yeah. invited? They're like, oh, we thought you were just doing comedy, aka, yeah, we know you were going to tell everybody. You're not about to be blowing this up on yeah. the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. That's what it is. Well, I get whatever. it. I'm, I don't care. Well, we're not young no more. You know, we're not the little babies anymore. Like, I feel like when I meet, especially a guy, I feel like I, if I have a good amount of interactions with him, I'm like, ah, this is, you got some whackness. This is. <laughs> you got some whackness? Uh, there's, some, there's some whackness down there. There's no <sighs> need for me to venture. South. You know? I feel like I got to a certain age where I was like, oh, no, I'm just, I could weed those out now. Like, I know before. We don't need. I, I, just, I saw you eat. I saw you eat. Some I wings. just assume nah, is everybody eat. is whack. Um, <laughs> and That's a fact. From Marie. I do. I just Why? assume everybody is like the corniest person in the world, and then. Um, you know, that's how I just like they'll I be sexy up. and they'll look good or whatever, and then you see like, their their snap stories, crazy. and you're like, "Oh, you are oh, yeah. awful!" I'd be like, "Is he wearing a bubble vest?" Yes, it's just very disappointing when you see them on social media, and you're like, "Oh, you're not really, you don't really understand." Cool, yeah. Oh, that's those are the type sad. of people who have photos, and you can see like they chin. You're mm-hmm. like, "What kind of angle are you getting this Why like video from?" This? It's yeah. not even that. Like, I like people who are a little bit awkward. Now, I'm not mm-hmm. here for that weird uh, art student dude that like. You know, put dreadlocks in his nose or what? I don't know. I'm not here for like that. <laughs> that super weird Aspergersy kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I just like a dude that's like not too cool. I feel the same way. I definitely feel the same way because it, it makes me feel like I got to be cool all the time. If you always, yeah. So but you like know, you are cool though. I know, but you're I chill. I can't purposefully be that way. I can't try to keep. When up do with you? you. I when, gotta just be me. When do you lose your cool? When do you like? Mm-hmm. Oh, step yeah. outside. Uh, I want to hear a line like when somebody hears this from you, you fucking pissed. Yeah, a when, line. No, like I mean, I don't something. Nec- I don't necessarily need a line. I just need to know in the world that can really make me angry. There aren't that mm. many people. Okay, well, who are the top three power? people? The top. Uh, my grandmother drives me fucking nuts. Nobody gets under my skin as much as this one. <laughs> but she's a grandmother. They, I know that's they, natural. That's right? what they do. That's what they do. Seriously, really makes me angry. Um my, I think I get really, really passionate about my little brother. I think he's he's like the pillar of strength for me. Mm-hmm. So anybody messing with him or even just being unreasonable around him takes me from zero to 100 very quickly. Okay. Um, I'll fight everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably my boyfriend, probably. I'll choke oh, that nigga. You no, choke that no, nigga but I do if think you that he, I think that we... Oh, y'all do that in the bedroom, too? Wow. Y'all do 50 Shades uh, <laughs> Chanel Ali? 50 right Shades there. of Black. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, when you really care about someone, they can make you real like yeah, that's emotional. Right. Well, my they sister. can make you feel and a Sydney, lot of things. Actually. I'm right, with Sydney? Them too. 
Those are the two I'm people. I'm rolling who, my eyes right now. Those are the two people who piss me off faster one. than anybody else in the world. Yes, but it's not a lot of people that you have that you really think have the power. Because I don't want to give that many people that much power. Like you're not gonna affect my emotions that much. Because who are you to me? You, know Girl, you mean? just be like you. You just got your emotions in check yes. all the time. Yo, as comedians, we are always giving to other people. We're always standing in front of a bunch of people, just giving them everything, yeah. right? Taking away all their problems yeah. for a couple of minutes. Yeah. To where they're only thinking about laughing with a bunch of strangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got to take care of our mental state sometimes and really take a step back and be like, am I doing something for me also? Ooh, Chanel. I See, this is it. why you... I mean it so uh, much. I would be your man, girl. What you like? <laughs> How you like your eggs? You like them runny or scrambled? What you I do? You want a frittata? I take care of them, right? Hey. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you can hit it with the... Oh, girl, that was a bar right there. Like, Listen, for me, I feel like I get angry all the time because of waitressing. Mm -hmm. Like, I just see how ridiculous people are and they don't, they're so oblivious Mm -hmm. to how absurd and the shit that they ask and the things that they want. Mm -hmm. And it's like, are you fucking, I know you in New York and you feeling like you should just be getting the whole world, but you don't have the whole world budget. You know what you got? You got McDonald's budget. That's (laughs) what you, that's you do get a 20 piece for $2. Yes. Let's bring your attitude down. Mm -hmm. Five piece chicken nuggets budget. Like you, how you talking to me? Like, this is a Four Seasons. This ain't the Four Seasons, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Like, bro. Like, I would be getting so <laughs> mad. And eventually, I had to let it go mm-hmm. because, I, you know, I don't work there anymore and I'm living my best poor life. But so you had to let that job go. I had to let it go because I was getting angry. Like, I would I talk to you I'm, all the time about... You're not working there no more. Yeah, I was talking to you about, like, the would, way people tip me, the way people talk to me. Mm-hmm. I would I'm come just, to her job and Sydney would be angry Every yeah. time I got there, and I'd be like, "Well, y'all, is the sandwich lady back there?" Yes, <laughs> that's it. That's it. yeah, it's true. Social though. media used to be a countdown, like two uh, more hours, <laughs> yes, thirty more minutes. Oh God, it was such good money, but I was just like Miserable, angry yeah. all the time. Yeah, but you can't. Well, that's the thing that I think people listening maybe can agree with mm-hmm. is you can't just stay in a situation that is not good for you. You like mentally, totally, yeah. yeah. Even if you're making money. Like, it you will find toll. another opportunity to make some money. On it takes a toll on you. I'm sure it took a toll on you. That's why you oh. got to save your coins. Yeah, girl, that's yeah. why I'm here. And I'm like, we, you know what? Things are going to work out. I'm not, I'm, I'll be all fine. I'll be fine. But I do miss the money a yes. lot. Yeah. Like, there's days where I'm like, I could just so maybe I should cash. just go back for like a <laughs> shit. You know? I just go see if let they, me just, uh, they let me just, black ass. But then, you know what it is? Living in New York City, we also become like, numb to the shit that happens like when people bump you or when people talk to you at a turn you're mm-hmm. like I'm not gonna worry about that mm-hmm. because I don't wanna start a fight I, I know that I'm bigger than this yeah. but then you become immune <laughs> to it and you don't care the longer I've been back in New York from LA the, the angrier and more vocal I am when people do things that, that I feel like is disrespectful in public yeah. like if I hold the door for somebody and they don't you do do that say thank you I, I wanna yank them by their yeah. toupee and bring them back yeah. uh, thank you you're mm-hmm. welcome. Or if I hold a door for them and they don't say thank you, I'll yell at them. If I'm getting off the train and people won't let me off before they come on, I'll yell at everybody on the train. Yeah. I'm turning into one of them loud black yeah. women. You are. So I'm the opposite of Chanel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, now, I mean, I don't let people talk to me all crazy. I will say that um, I'm a little more timid if people are with me. Like, if y'all are with me and somebody's wilding, I'll try to, like... Let's bring it down. You know, let's not cause a thing. And I'm oh, because you I'm know we gonna take it to a yeah, hundred. And because I don't want y'all to be getting in on something that I'm reacting to. Now, if I'm alone, I'm really not taking shit from nobody. Like nobody's gonna talk to me crazy. So I, you're you know. you're usually good at de-escalating situations I'm in groups. I'm so good under pressure. I'm so good at getting other people to calm down. So we oh, can make you have to tell that story that you just told me before Sydney got here. Oh, about the guy on the yes. train. Yeah, I was sitting on the subway platform in New York City, mm-hmm. real late at night, like 3 a.m. And this white guy comes in like a business suit, and he's like, "I want to feel alive." And that's, <laughs> and that's when you go to the. Ne- you anytime go to a the white man well, says no, that, everybody going to die. We're not even on the train uh, yet, so he's like, "I want to feel alive," and he's very clearly drunk, and he dangerous. like jumps off yeah. the platform onto the tracks. Mm-mm. Like, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, I want to feel alive. He just kept screaming. Can it. we take a step back and describe his suit? Did it look like a <laughs> suit, like a Brooks Brothers? Nah, it looked like. Was it like a capri cut sleeve? It looked like like maybe, men's warehouse. Mm, like a, like a, like was a, it cut? Cut? Now, come down a step. Burlington? 
Yes. Ooh. And he maybe accidentally like got a woman's jacket. <laughs> Ooh. Like so it, it was, was the medium. It was big in the back area. I was like, why is it so big back there? <laughs> but it, it was tight on the tight on the wrist mm-hmm. area. Oh mm-hmm. wow. I was like, no. But um <laughs> So he jumps onto the He jumps train onto platform. the tracks. Everybody's screaming at him like, you know what the fuck guy? Come on, buddy. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, just New York. <laughs> They're, They're New York. York. They're like, yo, I have somewhere to fucking yeah, go, man. It's three o'clock in the morning. Like, I'm not gonna sit here. I obviously can't afford a, a cab like People what the f- are counting the delay do you know how many delays this is gonna be if you get hit like they're really yeah. getting mad and so i'm gonna be honest i did try to snapchat him a little and he saw me chanel what? i mean if chanel. you don't snap it i was gonna get back up i was like it's fine he's just having a moment this will be a good snap but i just Yo. hated it i didn't even post it good <laughs> but if the, but if it, something happened and the news hit you up you would have I would you release, have the receipts. You'd be like, well, I release the, the video. Platform. I exclusively <laughs> told him on the Snapchat, hey, buddy, get up. Uh, but no, he didn't. You know? <laughs> so he, he caught did. you trying to snap his <laughs> you wallet. Did your, you did your deed for the day. You know what I mean? He caught me. And he was like, this girl's recording me. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I <did> Chanel. <laughs> Chanel, I got to teach you when this is over Yo, how to discreetly Yo, shoot video. Get gonna, the fuck out of here. Marie, don't do it. No, you got to hit it under your chin. Just rest your phone under your chin. It looks very obvious. Yeah, but then you be like, what, what's up? <laughs> you look very obvious. You gotta look at the sky like, what, no. what am no, I doing? No, girl. You look crazy right now. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you really, really do. Whatever. So I, wait, so I got up, I walked over to him, and I like kneeled down on the platform. Like, you kneeled down? down you the took platform. a knee for a white man yes. on a dirty subway platform? And I Chanel. Just very calmly Did you have him. some Jameson in your system? No, I was sober. I wanted to get home. I wanted to get home. I was on that New York shit. Like, How long had you been waiting on the platform? Like, maybe was it like, 10 minutes. So, maybe you, knew 10 minutes. so you had another no, 10 minutes train, to go because no, it's 20 the minute delay. Started coming. We could hear the train coming. So oh, we know fuck. it's about to come. And then he's like and in the you middle. Took, you bent your so queen I walked knees. over there. And I said to him very calmly, come on, man. You don't want to do this. This is crazy. Don't do this. Like, come on. Like, let's just get up here. Mm-hmm. And he was like, it took him a second. But then he was like, oh, all right, all right. And so I pulled him up. You, pull, yeah. you work out. You be at no, Planet Fitness or no, Equinox. You, know, you, you got wasn't, upper body strength. He was a limp body. Oh. You know, he wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, what, can we talk about what this white man looked like? Would he, did he have light hair, dark hair, Ashton Kutcher type? So looking. he was like a long white mm-hmm, body, mm-hmm. and you pulled him up. Pulled him up. Well, I helped him. He wasn't a dead man. He was awake <laughs> and. You know, and he wanted he body. and he wanted to I get had up. So him. I had convinced yo, him you, that he was wilding. Yo, you were yo, good Samaritan. You weren't guys. afraid that he was going to like be the scar to your Mufasa. Like as you weren't afraid. As soon as I was pulling him up, I t- I swear, I swear to you, all I thought was, please don't pull me over. Please don't pull me over. Please don't pull me over. Because he's obviously unstable. Yeah, yeah, and he's drunk too. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, this train is coming, bro. Nobody else is helping you. This train. Is so coming. nobody was helping you while nobody you pulled him up. Nobody came. Nobody. Wow. They were just shouting from afar. Really, just. Being mad at what him, station, like, come on, you're What wallet. station was this? Do you remember? Yeah, so I know mm. not to go there. <laughs> this sounds like some second this Avenue was... mess. This was 34th Street? No, that's not no, that sounds like, that sound like some Q shit. That don't sound like no Q. That sounds like some A or C train mess. I don't remember. This was like a year ago. Okay, okay. So, but I helped him up. What were you wearing, Chanel? I remember I had on my long. My long Burberry coat. Have you seen it? It's you had a Burberry you, coat. You yes. took a knee yes. in a Burberberry coat. I tell wow. you what, I bet you I looked real cool going over there to help him up. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I bet you I looked real. There cool. There should be a whole movie based on you just wearing this Burberry coat <laughs> and helping just, people from trains. Just, just jumping Yo. in, helping out people. Okay, saving wait, their lives. wait. The so, movie will be called The Helper. Yeah, be, <laughs> not the help. The helper. <laughs> So, you know, they would, like, redo it. Yes. And it, instead of you, it'd be Denzel playing the helper. <laughs> yeah. And he'd have on Gucci. Something. Like, it would yes. <laughs> based on true events. Yo, Chanel. So you should you, get a purple heart you, or something. You pull him I up. pull him up. He's like, he, he thanked me. He was like, all right, you know, I was wild and mm-hmm. whatever. And he starts to walk away. And um, this, That's other it? Guy, this other guy starts to interact with him. And he's very mad. Like, yo, you wildin', <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And the guy's still mouthing off. Like, I want to feel alive. So then he's like, I'm going to jump back in. <laughs> so <then laughs> like, see, like, all the work I did, I put my Burberry coat yo, on the line. But Chanel was the like, well, let me see. guy reacted that way. He was like, yo, you're still talking that shit. And that little girl just <laughs> helped you. And then I got real mad because he called me a little girl. No, but that's good though. You look good. You look no, good. No, I was like, yo, I'm a grown up, and I just saved this man's life. You're like, like what kid? You know, got a talk. Burberry trench yeah. on, bitch. It's two a.m. It's two a.m. I'm out here. So then Yo. they ended up fighting, and they fought like up. 
and out of the, the subway. Only New York. Never saw them again. They Only rolled New into York the trucks City. and both of them died. Moment of <laughs> silence for them dumb niggas. The guy who was yelling at him, was he, was he white? Black guy. Ah, oh, come on, bruh. He, Brother. He beat that boy's ass. <laughs> Come on, was, Clarence. He was just frustrated. You could tell it wasn't even like, oh, Rashad. I'm super mad. It, it wasn't even that serious, yeah, man. It, it was, was like, that serious. It was like, yo, I'm tired of these bros. I'm tired of their emotional whatevers. I'm finna just beat this one up. That's oh all that some was. Some cop probably got off that day on, uh, on a murder case, and he just had it up to He was to like, here. I'm tired of it. Facebook got me all riled up. <laughs> yep, that's when he probably saw a whole bunch of Vine videos. All I can see is that tight-ass wrinkled suit, and in my yeah. mind, it was like a like a beige, yeah. like, a, like a dusty green. So he gray. got up, and that's it? Did he give you a hug? Did no. like I don't want to touch him, make him no. But you pulled him up. Listen, I'm he already touched him, so you might as well give him a fucking hug. I mean, I don't need you. Sydney, what would me. you have done in that situation? Yeah. Well, girl, you know my upper body strength is zero, is none. Sydney <laughs> would have just none. went live on the ground. No, I would have been. I would have help somebody help please. Help. I mean, I think for me, I would like, I would weigh the options. Like, if it was like the middle of the day and like I knew I could like walk to another train stop, I would yeah. do that because I'm not helping you up because I weigh 123 pounds. I mean, I don't want y'all thinking I was super excited. Like, I remember as I was getting up, I did a real heavy sigh. Like, <sighs> Go. <laughs> like, let me just go. Yeah. And, you know, Chanel. I mean, Dude, if. Dude, that is crazy. If, say, die. for instance, like Marie fell in the train tracks and I had to lift her up, I'd be like, I feel like we would both die. Yeah, we <laughs> would. <laughs> I would I feel like, bad. No, 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 wait, wait. Push you up wait, and y'all would die. Wait, if, run over. Hold on. If Marie fell into the tracks, I'm like, okay, I'll help you. You'd be like, no, no, anybody but you. No, no, please. I don't want your help, Sydney. Can I'd I, be like, what if I lay under the train? Will you start a GoFundMe for me for my new legs? Like, that's yeah. what I would yell up to Sydney because I know she wouldn't be able to pull me up. I would not be able to pull her up, but... I feel like I would try to help her. Yeah. And that's good that you help. Like, that means a lot. In a your stranger? heart? They, you're a good person, Janelle. I don't think you're That's so a much. good person I because did not me. I wouldn't see Amanda. Yeah. I wouldn't want to see, but I definitely would have one hand over and, like, of course. look at a little bit. Like, and that's oh, why I wanted shit. to be honest about Snapchatting him because I wanted to be honest and be like, yo, I thought he, it was going to be fine and I wouldn't need to intervene. It could yeah. be a funny video. And yeah. then I was like, oh, no, this is serious. Let me put my phone away and try to, like, do something. That is I'd so be on the platform, good. like, don't touch the third rail. <laughs> <laughs> well, or you could be like, if you want to go out right, touch the, the third rail. rail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Make I just quick. Dude. And you have a very uh, soothing voice, and yeah. I feel like you have the voice of reason, reasonable doubt. I don't yes. know. You, you sound like yeah. if I hear you and I'm in distress, mm. I. You know what? When I'm having a bad day, I'm gonna call you, Chanel. I feel Hurry like up. you might not pick up. You're like, I'm I'm working right now. I but could what very is it? easily curve you. I, yeah. you know, because I protect my mental state. We were just talking about that. You know, yo, Chanel said you need to protect your mental state. Sometimes, sis. <laughs> sometimes you can't let people just be leaning on you all the time. Listen, but I'm saying you can. Hit me up, Sydney going Sydney gonna lean hard on that no, that no, no, calm call, ass voice. I call people once a month. To, you know, that's a damn lie. I've definitely had to cut. You call like, people friends. once a month. I've had to cut comics out of my life before. Like, yeah, I, I oh, can't speak on it, girl. What happened? What was they talking about? Lean on me. That crazy shit. No, I, let's get. Can we know, get like a little insider? I, I, a little? I met. I met this comic. I'm not gonna say her name. I met That's her fine. Mm -hmm. like twice. Okay. And then she called me from the hospital, saying uh, like I was drunk and things got crazy mm -hmm. and so? I need help. Can you come get me? I was like, mm -hmm. let me go through our mutual friends and find someone else <laughs> who is better equipped. <laughs> let me jump to on the book of this faces because we don't really know each other that well. But I could tell that she and she even told me when she, she when she came back to mm -hmm. she told me she was like you know I was lit I had drank a lot and in my drunk state I only could think of you I could only think of I know Chanel will help me I can call her and and she'll make sure that I'm okay and I did take care of her I found somebody to go get her and get her good. Chanel you touched her butt before like nah. what like she was that nah. drunk and thought of you bitch like <laughs> did you touch her Chanel don't nah. lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> How close your, were y'all? In your <laughs> drunk state, you thought a Chanel she Ali. Like, two two names. Yes. Chanel Ali, mm -hmm. you thought of both names? Mm -hmm. She's like, Ali, that's the world's greatest. I'm that little bit she, of she hope. Saved me. One month she, she saved, saved me. She saved me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chanel, I feel like 
we need to give you a quiz to see if you really are the expert, but like, I don't even know how we can test you even more. Do you have a question for her? No, I really don't. I just really wanted to sit here and talk to you. I felt like, I'm you know, to to you. you're a cool person. Yeah. You work really hard. Uh, you I always have a good time when you're around. I've never been like, oh, Chanel's so annoying, you know, because uh, there's nobody, those so many not. people like that. Yeah. Were, were you cool in school? Like, were you a cool kid? Yeah, I, I really felt like I had a lot of friends. Like, mm-hmm. I was cool with everybody. Oh, you one of those? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you one mm-hmm. of those? Oh, you friends with everybody? I, I can't tell you with shit. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't friends with everybody, but uh, my brother was. So I was like, like they knew me because of who he was. Yeah. And then people knew not to tell me stuff because I would laugh in their face. Yeah. Like, I was the friend that was like, wait, and then what happened? And honestly, when I think about like my upbringing and like my parents, I feel like I developed a lot of self peace because I had to make peace with that. Ooh. You know what I mean? Self peace. Like, no. That's really, like another type really. of peace. Like I, now. I, I got taken away from my mom when I was two, met my dad when I was 17 because we took a court ordered paternity test. Oh, he you know didn't want to take the test? He was like, nah, you I don't mean, look like me. They couldn't find him. He's a cop. They couldn't find him. He's, He's a, a cop? cop? Mm-hmm. Oh, they wasn't looking uh, for him. Oh, they, they really you know, weren't. They were trying to cover it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. sure they were. That's but that then, thin then they blue line. When you've been in the foster care system, they've been paying these foster parents and they yes. want to get that money back. So then they realize, oh, if this guy is the guy, he got the money. Let's go get the money. Let's right. you know get the blood test. So, How did they know that it was him? Um, I really don't know. They mm-hmm. didn't tell me. Like they were never trying to connect us. Mm-hmm. They were just trying to Stop get that paying. money. Yeah, <laughs> they were trying to get that money. So they were like, "Yo, we think this guy could be it. We're gonna force him to take a test. You take a test." So. In meeting him and kind of giving him a fresh slate, I had to really decide that I was going to forgive him. Like, no wow. matter what happened. I had to decide, like, you know, I can't get these 18 years back, but here you are and you're saying you want to try. I'm going to, for myself, mm-hmm. forgive you because I can't be walking around mad at you all the time. Right. Like, I'm not going to live my best life if I'm walking around every day like I'm mad at my mom and I'm mad at and my And you dad. see those so people out here. You, you see, see them. It. They're holding on to it something re- that's like, girl, it's gone. When, it's even done. Even when you just said, like, I, I don't ever see that on you, I take that as such a compliment. That's yeah. And I hope that my brother is the same way because I always teach him, like, we're okay in ourselves that we don't need to walk around feeling less than. Like, we are okay. So what you're saying is you never want to have that Will Smith moment on... Uh, Fresh Prince where he was like, how come you don't want me, yeah. Uncle Phil? <laughs> but see, he had to do that. He had to say that out loud so yeah. he could let it go to yeah. a certain extent. Yeah. So I feel like I had to learn to, when I made peace with, you know, even at 10, I remember recognizing the reality. Like, okay, I'm in foster care and I'm moving around a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know who my dad is. My mom is Yeah, but you there. are like, you're like a, like a one in a million, I think, like person in the foster care system that can like... Like yeah. just make peace with and their look situation. past what the, yeah. what was going on in so their life. And I, I really credit that so much to my little brother because if I had to do it just for me, I don't think I would have been strong enough. But to have like a little kid who he's like a baby, he needs things. He's yeah. crying and he needs to be changed and he has to eat. Like that consistency. You were taking care of him. Yeah, that consistency. Girl, somebody gonna slide into your Venmo right now and just <laughs> drop you some. Gen- they're like, yo, you are such a good person. Yeah. Here's fifty dollars. Well, go ahead, go ahead and share your Venmo. Yes, with people. Yeah. Yeah. every time I get paid. I Venmo my little brother as much as I can, and sometimes well, it's come on, not. Chanel. Yeah, hey, what's your Venmo? What's your Venmo? Oh, oh, you want it? Yeah, yeah. people oh, listening, my Chanel Dash Ali. She's taking care of her little brother, y'all. I don't know. Your little brother is about thirty now, right? So she's gonna need some funds on that. No, so please hit her in the Venmo. His shoe size is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What size, uh, what's his, uh, what kind of jeans he wear? He wear like a 34, 32 or something. Like, I don't even know what that means. You know, <laughs> your story is beautiful. And I didn't even know all of this about you. And I, I'm so happy that Learned I was able to, so much. to get to know you better. And just, yeah. wow, and you're so chill. And I mean, I can't believe you didn't bring any weed for the yeah, other Yeah, I'm a little upset about crazy. that. But you're saving lives, though. Yeah, so. I was on time, though. I think that's important, You were right? more than on time. if I would have brought weed, who knows if I would have been here on time. And uh, that Burberry jacket, where it at? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel, what's next for you? Where, like, what, like, what's next with you, co- comedy career wise? You just opened for Che at yeah. Caroline's. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, I'm holding out for some festivals this mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. Um, on the road a lot. I always have all my gigs posted up chanelali.com. Okay, yes. you can follow me at Twitter, Chanel underscore underscore Ali. That's two underscores. Wow. For reasonable doubt, uh, reasonable, reasonable doubt, doubt Mondays. Mondays. Yeah. Hashtag reasonable doubt Mondays. I always search that tag if you want to join in, and I retweet. It's dope because you know if you see any lyrics that's speak to you I like to you know I guess I'll listen to, I'll listen to and the also album on Monday. breathing I'm, I'm gonna be breathing y'all gonna be breathing yeah girl I always breathe okay breathe it breathe it breathe it breathe it <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> As always, you can catch me um, at uh, Reezy, R-E-E-E-Z-Y on Instagram and on YouTube at Miss Reezy, M-S-R-E-E-E-Z-Y. Sydney, where can they find you? You can check me on uh, Instagram at JustSidBW, mm-hmm. J-U-S-T-S-Y-D-B-W. Mm-hmm. Twitter, JustSidNYC. And, you know, hit me on Facebook, man. I'm tired of these, uh, these <laughs> elderly people friending me on Facebook. Where do young people I feel like at? you accept all the requests, though. So no, I have even. not. I Sydney have not. has 5,000 I have not. No, I've st- I stopped. How many like, friends you got on Facebook? I stopped months ago. Because you, you hit your friend limit. No, it's too many weirdos. It's people that I'm like, how do you know I me? have 400 requests pending. Oh, my god! I don't even know where these people have met me. And then they'll be in my um, secret little messages or whatever. And they're like, saw you at a show or yeah. my friend. Recommended me. You recommended you for. I was like, you're old ass. You about eighty. Where your show at? At your the house? nursing home. At the nursing home. Thousand <laughs> Oaks. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. You guys can come see us, young or old, rich or poor, mm-hmm. at Karma Lounge the second Saturday of every month. We only have two more shows left. We do only oh have two God. more shows left. Yes. The next one is on July eighth. Yes. Please come. Come to that. It's going to be a fun time. It's a free show. And yes. then, you know, just make sure you comment, subscribe, steal your boyfriend's phone while he's sleeping, check his DMs, and then also subscribe to the podcast on his phone. Please do. That's all that we ask you to do. Yes. Do it. Chanel, any any like last words, any like fortune cookie mantras want, that you can you give? Want some real good right now. Yes. Yeah, something good. Hit him with um, something. One bar. Um, every day, do something for you. Oh, that's okay. cute. That's cute. Okay. And I, my, my, my line is, Sydney, I need you to think of one too. Okay. My line is, um, he who does not bring his wallet does not get to go out with me a second time. That's the line right there. I'm going to leave you. Right. He who don't bring his wallet don't get to see me again. We're going to get that added on you. <laughs> um, <laughs> on mine's is eyebrow. trust in God and that Uber fool. Wow. Um, okay. All right. Well, no, never get killed. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>